Hello everyone, welcome to Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. We have the crew's down here loading up the Sagisi. Are they up there, Tatai? Where are the Sagisi at? Oh, in the river. In the river? So you have to carry them up? <laughs> All of them. Oh, the, this the last? Uh, no. Uh, almost seven pieces left. Seven pieces left? So where are they? They're over there? Well, where were these? Oh, those were there. Okay. Yeah, these are called Sagisi. Supposedly they'll last uh, five years in the ocean. This poor little red van, look at that. It's just bending the top of it. They're only hauling three or four of these at a time now, but they're heavy. So we're heading over to Gabriel's. We're going to go out to the uh, fish pen. And so we'll continue this video there. Seven more pieces, huh, Tate? Uh, well, how are you doing on gas? I don't know. You okay? That's enough. All right. So that's the some more of the poles they've got stashed there. Or they don't they, they cut these back in there somewhere. Uh, this one the borders the Yeah, and he says there's more along the road. Maybe I can hold the camera. So you can concentrate driving. Yeah. 
know I recognize this place. Some foreigner lives here. Yeah, because it's cemented. <laughs> oh, they stop. Lunch time. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go around. Just gotta get out of the way. Magpakamatay ka tatay. <laughs> ha? Okay. Uh, so, uh, they will drink water. Okay, and they're gonna go to Gables? Yeah. They're gonna take lunch. They were going to... Maghakot pa matay? Ang sa'yo orasan na dyan. Last dosin naman. Pinpaniunto na. Paniunto sa mooy. Is it door lock? No. No. It's not. I told him to eat lunch first because it's already 12 o'clock. So, we're gonna. Well, the crew have made it here. And these are the Sigisi. These are about. Well, I'm gonna pace one off here. One, two, three, four. Well, 11 steps, so they're about 30 foot, just about 30 foot poles, and that's the bamboo that has been delivered here as well. So between 25 and 30 feet. Uh, the shorter ones we may have to add a splice to. Uh, the water at high tide is right around 20 feet deep, and the poles need to stick out of the water three or four feet. Or else the, fin the fish will just jump out. To... Hang on, guys. Yeah. And there they are. So we've got, there's supposed to be 51 pieces all total. There's about, I don't know, 40 here already. They've got two more trips to make, they say. And then it'll be complete. Tata, is the light, is the light, oh there it goes, okay, nothing. The light was on. It's no more, but before, just like seconds ago. How you doing, Ariel? Gina's keeping your wife busy? <laughs> Uh, eventually, uh, probably tomorrow, I'm going to have Gabriel start towing this stuff out to the fish pen. I'm going to talk to that him talk to him about that today and start getting these poles out there. He has a he has a crew available to him, uh, separate from these guys. Uh, if we're going to get this cage done by this weekend, uh, we need to start getting this getting these materials moved out there. I haven't checked with them in the last two days. Hopefully they have the net complete, uh, completely sewn together. And uh, I'm sure this is gonna be several uh, trips towing all this stuff out there. So there's the supply so far. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.